Man, so you, just to get a little perspective, you've never had anything other than a stock one, correct? Correct. It's unreal. Jeez. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Chase with 3C Mini Works. We officially have Jake's stock ruckus here on the left and mine on the right to give you a good comparison of the before and after and what we could expect. It didn't take long to start ripping into the process, so we went ahead and stripped the bike down, took about an hour. And this is me reminding you, if you have not seen the first video of this build, check it out. Jake has never ridden anything other than a 50cc ruck. 50cc is a fury, so I put him on my electric and it was fun. Check out this, big old parts pile. All the stock stuff that no one wants that I'll never be able to sell, yay. And just stepping back and admiring the bike as a whole, now that it's stripped down, the frame, this is where we start and it's just nice to see that initial process. In order to keep this build a lot more user friendly and kind of on the cheaper side, I went ahead and contacted QS Motor, which is who makes the QS138 and got this whole swing arm assembly that we can make the kits out of. I then contacted Evan over at FLP and he's custom milling us a front wheel to match the rear. It's it's going to be a 12 by four, which is a pretty standard aftermarket ruckus wheel. This is it in action, and I'm really excited about it because it's just gonna look super awesome. Jake decided to go with a matte red finish, so we'll get that off the powder as soon as we can. Probably the most important part of this process is making sure whatever bracketry or templating that we are making is going to be completely level and straight, inline and true, so that we don't have any sort of wobble or uneven wear on the tires. It's just overall a lot better at safety. So I went ahead and lined this up with my laser level. You can see I marked here the center line of the wheel. It is daytime, so it's hard to see onto the tail there. And then to the middle of the frame, I marked with a piece of tape and then up to the front. So we'll get a view from the back here. And you can see that line is completely straight. Now having the rough measurements that I need for the templates of the brackets that I need to make, I went ahead and made three different brackets with thousandths of an inch difference so that I can see what fits better. Now there is a little bit of play in between the bushings because you have to press those out for powder and then press them back in. But I went ahead and cut these and then that'll give us a good baseline for how things need to fit together. Ding, cookies are done. This is my favorite part. I get to take everything out of the lasers that we just cut. And this is roughly where we can see how things actually start to take form. This is just a preliminary measurement of my templates for the lower bracket. And it'll sit kind of in the frame to the left here. That bigger part will sit inside the front frame like so. And you can see the bottom will stick down into the casing itself. And there's a little bit of wiggle room in between there. So I'll have to tighten that up before I actually send this out to get machined. But from here, it gives us a good idea on how we need to adjust things and add the tabs into the middle so that I can make it a stationary component. Fast forward a few days, and this is our initial mock-up. I went ahead and changed a few of the measurements and went ahead and made another one, just a little bit more sleek style looking. And then I put tabs in it to figure out where I want the brace to be so that that is stationary and the pivot point is down at the case bolt. And then I got this beefy boy back from engineering. It's all half inch spacers welded on and I need to make it a little bit more beefy, but it's perfect for templating. For the lower shock mount, I went ahead and got an NCY low down shock, which is a pretty standard aftermarket shock for the ruckus community. That way it's readily available. That mount is going to go directly onto the QS motor for that swing arm since that's a readily accessed point. And then I made a rough idea for what my top bar is going to be that my shock will mount to. Kind of something like that. I only have two hands, so it's a little shaky, but this works just for video purposes. This is a rough idea. I think I am gonna end up welding this bottom part, but I did just bolt it together just to get a good idea so that it will stay in place. So that when I put my shock up, it'll go right in there. Right side will get welded for sure. And then I think, again, I'm going to weld that left side. So that's where I'm gonna weld. And then this is where, I don't know, I'm up in the air if I should just do a bolt in but I definitely wanna have a longer brace there so that I can go across and then the seat mount will go roughly where I just was pointing, right in there, it's great. Super happy with how the lower bracket came out. The tab's kind of in the perfect spot here and you can see it connects the frame to the actual casing properly. I did mock up the whole frame and the assembly roughly where I think I'm going to want it. And more than likely we'll raise that motor up just a tad, but that gives me a good idea of ge geometry and how it all kind of fits together. And you can see here that tab is going to feed somewhere up to the top mount out of the way of the shock so that my pivot point is down low. 
and then that allows for that bracket not to move and then the shock will go up to the top there kind of like so this gives a really good depiction of it so that way that's the only part that's moving around and then pivoting from that bolt you do not want that lower bracket moving or else your wheel is going to be bouncing all over the place no bueno not good at all don't want it so we made a lot of really good progress in the first two weeks of having the bike now it's just a matter of getting the tires and wheels together because I need to get those out to powder and mounted so that I can properly get everything else in place. I need to know the exact spacing off the ground. But until then, I hope you guys stick around, watch some more content, and this build is gonna be a blast. It already is. And I hope you guys stick around to see the rest of it because it's gonna be great. Hope you guys have the best day ever. Bye.